gonna be, you know, a little emotional because I'm now finally in possession of a PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. And, you know, I'm saying it's a little emotional because I've been very fortunate to have the first PlayStation in 95 all the way up to the current model. In fact, my PlayStation 4 Pro is still hanging out on the side, but this is a dedication to the PlayStation 5 because I can finally get into the uh, modern era of gaming outside of the Xbox. I have a Series X, but um, here we are with the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. And uh, for this video, I don't care how many people are watching it, I just like to share a really nice moment by opening and setting up the, the system and actually putting it into good use. Uh, I do intend to download Gran Turismo 7, so if you want to see the second part of the video, I would love for you to see the gameplay on this console. But uh, first things first, if you notice the box is pretty thin. If you, I mean, it's not that heavy. And I'm able to basically hold it with one arm here. And uh, again, this is a disc-free console. Uh, the reason and the logic behind it is that I feel that, and maybe I'm wrong here, but many games that are out aren't really coming in physical media anyway. And if you are getting physical media from PlayStation 5, more or less the game is not on the disc. So you're ending up having to download the game anyway. And if I already have a PlayStation 4 Pro where I want to rely on some old classics from the PlayStation 4 series, then I can go down that route, pull out my console and play it. But uh, I figure for all the weight, I wouldn't mind getting this edition. I mean, the quality of the games that we're going to see later on is going to be a testament to how great this system is. And... Uh, Let's get started. Let's start opening up the box. Yeah, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to actually unbox this thing. And um, let's get right on to it. Let's take this box here. If you want to see how it looks in terms of the back, this is basically the setup. And uh, I have some people around that's watching. Um, can you do me a favor? Can you grab the PS4 Pro and the PS3? Uh, once I open the console, I'm going to take the next uh, best thing, which is the PS4 Pro, and then, of course, the classic PS3. And we're going to take a quick comparison before we start plugging things up. But right now, I'm going to open this bad boy. Okay. All righty, so we're going to flip it over. All right, I already ripped the box. Good job. Okay. All right, so of course, in typical Sony fashion, we get the white PlayStation box. All right, so this is pretty much how the box looks. And uh, this is something that you'll get in any sort of console. And you can, if you want to get right here, we have the uh, cereal stuff, which I'll block out, so that way you can't, like, cheat. Anyway. Open this. Okay. Here we go. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. A manual. First order of business. You have the safety guide and the quick start guide. All right, so the first big moment, we're gonna open this up. This is the controller, and here we go, guys. This is a PlayStation 5 controller. Oh, it feels so nice. All right, come here, come, come. You, you gotta feel it. It feels so nice. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's pretty great. Oh. Wait, you press the buttons first. <laughs> You, 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 you penetrated it first. Listen, I'm kidding. Listen. No, I, I've been wild on these triggers because they feel so great. All right, so this is the typical beautiful controller here. And we're going to get to know it a little bit better in a moment. But right now, let's see what else is there. 
So we have the guides, the controller. Of course, you got an AC cord. cable, UB, uh, yes, USB-C cable, UB-B-B-B-B cable, okay, alrighty, what's next? HDMI cable, alright, so, your typical Bare necessities. Yes. Absolute necessities. All right, so we got an HDMI cable, and now we're going to take a very important piece out. This is the, uh, the holder for the console. I might play around and put it on it, put, put the system on it, maybe not. Depends on how less frustrated I am setting it up. So we're going to take this piece out. Everybody, you gotta love the smell of a new system. Mm. First time I smell something like this, it gives me the smell when I got a Nintendo or a new ooh, new system. All right, so here we go. The moment of truth. Imagine they gave me a brick. I would be hella pissed. All right, let's take this out. And here we go. Jesus H. The PlayStation 5. Look exactly how it opened up. Here it is, everybody. This is it. If you want to look at it from the side here. And can I get those systems? Because now what I want to show... So I have the PlayStation here. It's a little dirty. But here's the PlayStation 4 Pro. So let's do a side-by-side -side profile. And this crusty ass PlayStation 3. Shout out to my homie, the shorty. She let me borrow her PlayStation 3 because I was playing Gran Turismo 6 on it for a while. But, I stand here. Oh, oh, I guess this. Here we go. A really ugly looking domino. And notice how the PlayStation 5 stands up tall as. The tallest PlayStation I have ever seen. So let's take these systems, and if we were to lay it flat, look at that. This is a behemoth of a console. This is huge. In fact, I'm going to step away from the camera because. If you want to talk about huge systems, let's put the cube here. You see? And this is a this is a pretty chunky system. If we were to put it next to the PlayStation 5. Take all these systems out of the equation. Thank you. Look at it. This is a chunky machine here. So this is what we see. When you unopen a PlayStation 5 digital edition, 
Let's take a look at the I.O. So if you notice here, we see a USB-C port and a uh, H, uh, sorry, a regular uh, USB port. And in the back, you have some more USB ports, an Ethernet jack, HDMI, the uh, AC, and I don't know exactly what this is, but I don't really care. But anyway, this is it, okay? In a moment, what we're going to do is we're going to plug this baby up, and we're going to see it boot up for the very first time. Yeah, so before we get into the games, I want you to look at these three types of controllers. And they represent, obviously, different generations, some gaps in between. For instance, I'm holding the... This is not a DualShock 3, just making it very clear. This is a 6-axis, the predecessor, right? This is like if you had a PlayStation without the sticks. It would be this, basically. And so we came from this to the controller I have for the PlayStation 4 Pro, which I've grown to love this controller in terms of how comfortable it is for me to play with it. But this, ooh, ooh. I think I might get used to this, especially as I get to see how adaptive these uh, buttons will be based off of the gameplay. So it's a wonderful walk down memory lane from this to this, and I barely found out that's the button here. <laughs> but here we are. Oh my gosh, look at it. Look at it. Yeah, see? So, let's see how it looks when we turn it on.